Welcome back, my lovely people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and I talk about all things healthy skin here. I haven't been gone for a while, guys. My MacBook just kind of stopped importing videos, guys. It's a very old MacBook, so I'm trying to um, edit on my iPad. So if this video is not up to par, please excuse me. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. When I saw this at the drugstore, I about passed out. I was so excited. I was like, what? CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser and it states that it removes makeup? We have to try it. And if you guys don't know, I recently reviewed the CeraVe um, foaming facial cleanser and also the Fair CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. Both of these cleansers, the fa the foaming facial cleanser was a little drying for me and the hydrating cleanser, it was just not doing it for me. It was just very, you know, mild. So I'm thinking that if both of those cleansers had a baby, it would come out with this cleanser right here, the hydrating cream, the foam cleanser. I've tried this, as you guys can see by the bottle. I've tried this for about two weeks and I'm I like it. I pretty much like it. There's some things I don't like about it, but for the most part, I like it. And the fact that it says it removes makeup. Okay, as you guys can see here, I am now trying the cleanser out. I this cleanser, the texture is kind of creamy, like the like the name. It's a cream to foam cleanser. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I put it on my face like this, because <laughs> that's not how you're supposed to put it. You're supposed to wet your face. I think I was just trying to show you guys the texture, and um. Please excuse me. I don't know what I did. Okay, let's cut it down to, let's cut to the part where I am washing my face. Anybody else hates when that nasty water drips down your arm and everything. That's why I like washing my face in the shower, but I wanted to show you guys. And anyways, I'm washing my face and this thing really does melt your makeup off. I really felt like my makeup was melting off, guys. So I try to wash my face for at least 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. And I'm trying to gently rub the mascara that I have on. And I have foundation, concealer on, lipstick, um, mascara, eyeliner. I don't wear like really, really heavy makeup. So here I am just showing you guys a clip of me washing my face. I look so... I just look a mess, please, guys. Just... <laughs> I don't know how to wash my face cute for the camera. So anyway, let's. OK, enough of that. <laughs> so here I am after the first wash. Um, I still had makeup. I don't know if you guys can see in the paper towel. I took like a little bit of paper towel just to see there's still makeup. So it does remove makeup, but <laughs> you're still going to have residue of makeup left on your face as you guys can see i was trying to do my eyes because last time when i did this i've been using this cleanser a while before i reviewed it there was some mascara but this time i guess there was no mascara so you may have some makeup left over and some mascara left over so i gotta go back and do another cleanse i always double cleanse anyways if with a cleansing balm so even if you're using this as your primary cleanser and you wore makeup or you wore sunscreen, I just would always recommend um, double cleansing. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just like double cleansing just to make sure you got all the dirt and everything off your face. So here I am again, just double cleansing this time. My face is a lot cleaner than last time, but I'm just um, making sure I get my eyes, the mascara and everything. And yeah, that's it. Here I am all out of breath. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just finished rinsing my face and water is everywhere. But I'm taking this paper towel and I'm just dabbing my face, guys, just to see if all the makeup was removed. And here I am just dabbing my face. And I am going through a little bit of, I was going through a little bit of breakout <laughs> during this time. I was stressed and I think I was PMSing. So my face was going crazy. So don't come for me in the comments about my face. But anyways, here is the paper towel. As you guys can see, no makeup at all, no mascara, nothing. So after the second cleanse, it did remove all of my makeup. Not the first cleanse, the second cleanse. So yeah. so my final thoughts on this cleanser is it's it, it gets a thumbs up for me. I really enjoy this cleanser. As you guys know that CeraVe's products are, you know, fragrance-free, paraben-free. They're very, you know, clean products. And this product did not disappoint for me. 
As far as the ingredients in the middle somewhere, I do see that it does include salicylic acid. I don't think salicylic acid was very necessary for this product, but that's just my opinion. And someone else, you know, asked on their website, why did you guys decide to add salicylic acid when this product is geared towards people with normal to dry skin and salicylic acid does dry out the skin? And um, CeraVe answered that, they basically added salicylic acid to decongest the pores, which I kind of understand, but I don't really agree with it because, you know, salicylic acid does remove, you know, dead, dead skin cells and things like that. However, I don't think it was that necessary because some people are sensitive to salicylic acid and it does dry out the skin. So if you're sensitive to salicylic acid, I don't know if you would be sensitive to this product but it does have i don't know how the percentage because it's really really low it's like in the middle in the ingredient list but anyways i still like the product um and i still enjoy using it i the first time as you guys can see i feel like it removed 95 percent of my makeup 98 percent, but i still had to go back in there to get the the few few makeups few little makeup residue that was left over guys so i do recommend double cleansing if you want to cleanse with an oil and then go back with this product it just depends i still would recommend double cleansing but that's just me if you don't believe in it that's fine but i would give this product a thumbs up um i like it better than their other two cleansers i feel like it just kind of merged both cleansers together is just what we needed because I was like we don't need another cleanser from CeraVe we have like you have a million cleansers but we do we we needed this cleanser from them so if you guys are thinking about trying it you should it's very affordable it's like $14 I think depending on where you live depending on the size and also on their website they have a $4 coupon off so save your coins get yourself some cleanser <laughs> and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you definitely in my next video Bye, my loves.